Hello everybody, this is Jake Schwartz for another edition of Voice of Reason here in the locker room at the Bob Carpenter Center in Newark, uh, Delaware. And look who I ran into, one of my favorite uh, people from the uh, New England players, the pride of Wakefield, Rhode Island, Northfield, Mount Hermon Zone, uh, Thomas Murphy. Welcome back to Voice of Reason. It's great to see you again as always. Great we, to see you. Yes, you, and you look fantastic by the way, you look great. And I understand that... Uh, uh, one of the members of your family is also coaching here at Northeastern. Would you like to tell us who that is? He is actually. He is not. Not. A I of didn't my know that. We have the same name. It's Tom Murphy. Tom Murphy, but we. I are didn't not know related. that. Yeah, I, you know, my, a lot of people. A lot of people think that we are I did related, not know that. Not well, my first assumption was was I thought it was your father who had a great track record in basketball, and he was actually one of the assistants uh, coaching you. Uh, at the New England Players, yes. along with another John Carroll, yes. uh, that would be Boston's former Boston Celtic coach John Carroll. And you, you've had a, you had a great. Uh, I remember uh, not only announcing for you at the Big Apple basketball tournament when you were playing with Northfield Mount Hermon, but taking photos of you and, and a couple of your teammates, people that I have known, whether it was New York, PA, or even New England, uh, at the Spring Fling and just many other places. And you had a really, like I said, just a great uh, run at Adidas. Uh, let's get a quick update on, uh, tell everybody uh, how you're doing these days here at Northeastern. Uh, I'm told that uh, you recently dropped 20 points just about a week ago, and how, how are the numbers for you? Uh, you know, everything's been going pretty well so far for us, the team. We're, uh, you know, we're 16-9, and nine, and as a team, you know, we've, we've, I think so far we've uh, enjoyed a lot of growth throughout the season. We started off kind of slow, and I think the same goes for me. As the season's gone on, I've become, uh, become more and more comfortable with you know what we're trying to do on the floor and uh, you know gaining more valuable experience game by game and I feel more confident day, day by day so yeah we one week ago I had a had a good game but any for us any game it could be any different player they could step up and have 20 points or do their job and do the thing that they do the things that we need yeah. them to do to win so so that's three in a row now for the Huskies, and you have, uh, and you after uh, suffering quite a few losses, you do manage to sweep the season series against Delaware. And uh, I brought this up with uh, Vasa Pushitska. Uh, what was the difference between the game at home in Massachusetts to the game here in Delaware tonight? Uh, I mean, I think in both games we kind of got it going in the second half. Uh a little bit offensively, but more defensively. We were definitely locked in in both second halves. And, uh, you know, I mean, they're a good team. They try to slow the pace down a little bit. They take good shots, and they really limit their turnovers. So, you know, we, we like to push the tempo a little bit and get easy offensive uh, opportunities. So it's a little bit of a clash. But uh, in the second half, I think our our style of play took over, and we were able to get, out, get the win in both games. You really shut down Eric Carter. 14 points and at least a dozen rebounds. Ryan Allen, 19, and a big uh, blow for Delaware. Ryan Daly out for a, a cold and extended period of time. Looks like he broke some, had some cartilage in an ankle. And he's in a boot, I'm told. So how big a blow do you think that was for Delaware? Yeah, I mean, he's a great player. He's, uh, he's definitely one of the, uh, the grittier, tougher guys in the league. Who you know, He's going to play hard every game. And I think you know them losing him opened up opportunities for other guys on their team. But obviously losing a rookie of the year last year in the conference is tough for a team like this. They're saying that, uh, including Bill Cohen, saying Ryan Allen couldn't possibly be rookie of the year anytime you come out of like a yeah, place like DeVap. Absolutely. That's certainly a possibility. You're headed up the turnpike to Towson. You're looking to try to sweep this southern type of uh, series. What do you, or I should say southern, uh, I guess, week. What do you feel like you have to do before you go back home uh, to Boston? Uh, I mean, we got to prepare for this game starting tonight and tomorrow. Uh, you know, they're a tough team. They play physical. They play really hard. They try to, uh, you know, pressure you on defense. And, you know, we just got to come ready to play. And if we execute and do all, everybody does their job, we should have a good chance. And hopefully we come out of here with two big wins on the road, and then we're back home. Thomas Murphy out at another edition of Voice of Reason. A pleasure, as always, to see you. Best of luck this weekend against uh, against Towson. Again, Jake Schwartz here at the Bob Carpenter Center with one of my favorite New Englanders, Thomas Murphy. Thank you.